We're joined now by one of my dearest friends, and you can hear him right now on the new Oh Hello, the podcast. Please welcome back to the show, John Mulaney, everybody. Do I sit into it? Yeah, you can sit in. You want to walk into it? Like, you're, yep. yeah. Okay. We'll have Fred add some music. In okay. Post. Am I waiting for my name? John Mulaney. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh, my dog barked. This How is, are you, uh, I'm, uh, I'm very happy to have you here. You are, as you know, you are the record holder for uh, most of the frequent guests on the show. Oh, I still have it. You still have it. Uh, Martha Stewart, very close. <clears throat> Excuse me. She was just on. Uh, and I feel as though it's good to always, like, keep the same buffer between you and her. Which is, I always have one over Martha Stewart. Yeah, I think that's just for safety. Right, right. Uh, okay. I mean, I'm always a little nervous with her hellhound on my trail like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I, I like asking people how they're spending their time during quarantine. Uh, I sort of picked up from social media that you're watching old television shows. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm catching up on, on Real Housewives of New York, um, starting from mm -hmm. season one, which took place in 2008. And I'm currently in season three, which is, uh, I believe we're in late 2009. Gotcha. Um, you know me, what I'm a big Orange you... County Beverly Hills guy. What was the impetus of going back and watching that? You'd never seen it? I'd never seen Real Housewives of New York. I was very aware of it. And then my wife, Anna, said, that's, that's leaps and bounds beyond Beverly Hills in Orange County. And I'd never seen a lick of it. So I, she said, let's start at season one. And we did. And it's, it's fantastic. You do like it. So it's living up to her high standards. Yeah, I like it very, very much. Yeah, her endorsement was exactly right. Did you ever, have you ever seen it? I haven't. I remember it would sort of be on, you know, at SNL in the corner sometimes, and uh, I never really watched it. Do you know Bethany Frankel? I've met Bethany Frankel a few times, yeah. A few times, okay. Because I remember you had a bottle of her, of her vodka in your office. It might have been, I feel like it was maybe tequila, though. Uh, but I can't remember. I feel like Bethany Frankel. Put her, have... her name's also on a tequila. Yeah. Fantastic. Like a, like a skinny teeny. Maybe I'm getting this all um, mixed up. That, all those words skinny teeny sound right. Based on watching Real Housewives, that led you to take the Myers-Briggs personality test? It didn't lead me to take it, but I did begin thinking where I fit in among the housewives, you know. Uh, right. um, and I do that with most seasons, be it Orange County, Beverly Hills, or now Roni, which is Real Housewives of New York. Um, I try to figure out who I would be in the show and how I would deal with the different conflicts. You know, one thing they never, ever do ever on that show is apologize. <laughs> oh, wow. So let's say that I said that you were tacky, Seth, and that, um, and that you, uh, you were tacky and you show up to events like a stalker. That's, I made that up, but that could easily be on the show, right? <laughs> I, tell, <laughs> I tell Fred this. Fred tells you immediately. <laughs> right. We're at a function within hours together, and you call me out on it, and you're mad at me. Sure. The way I would apologize is say, I just want to put this behind us. <laughs> <laughs> and you'd hug me and you go, okay, I just want to put this. I said, we're good, right? We're good. And never would I say that I insulted you directly on camera, knowing it would get back to you with little remorse. I would just say, I just, we're good, right? I want to put this behind us. You've also noticed that it does seem as though the characters on those shows are hyper aware that they are on reality shows. Yeah, especially in the beginning of Real Housewives of New York because <laughs> it's like a, it's not a new concept, the reality show. It's been around for about eight years by the time Re Roni starts. But um, <laughs> it's easier to say Roni. So, uh, <laughs> but they still talk about it. If you watch um, Rehoboth, which is Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, <laughs> Rehoboth. If you watch Rehoboth, that island that people go to, uh, they don't talk anymore about how they're on a reality show, but in Real Housewives of New York, circa 2009, someone will say something like, well, I don't want to share that. That's personal. And the rest of them go, we're on a reality show. You have to tell us. And they'll be like arguing with each other and be like, well, why would you do that? And they say like, because it's a reality show. And so they're very <laughs> aware when they're at an event that they are marketing themselves. So someone might say, why is there a skinny girl margarita sign up? And she says, because it's a reality show and I'm marketing myself. Very self-aware and on the nose. Did you, uh, are there parts of, does it show you a part of New York that you're nostalgic for, especially during this time where we're stuck I inside? Mean, every part of outdoor New York I'm nostalgic for, but this drives home how nostalgic I am for any part of New York, because they'll show like 1st and 70th, 
And I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's, only, that's only eight blocks from the United Nations. <laughs> An area I hate. Oh, York and 80th. Oh, huh. to walk there against the wind. 